Hey folks, in case you missed it, last week's video was all about how to tame the Finder window on your Mac to make it suit your viewing preferences. This week, we're doing the same thing but for the sidebar, and I've got a bunch of little tricks that I can't wait to teach you. Coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hey folks, and welcome to the class. We have quite a few different tricks to go over today, but I always like to start by making sure we're all on the same page. So if you're following along at home, I invite you to open up a new Finder window, and then let's click where it says Finder here at the top left and go into Preferences. This window has four tabs at the top, and when you click on the General tab, I want you to notice that you can change the default location that initially opens. By default, this is set to Recent Files, but I would recommend that you change it to the location you access the most. Let's now switch over to the Sidebar tab, and as you can see here, I have checked the boxes next to AirDrop, Applications, and the Downloads folder. At the top, we have an option to show all recent files, but to be honest with you, I don't really ever use this feature, and if you keep watching this video, I'm gonna show you how to create something that's similar, yet a little bit more custom tailored. I only recommend adding a shortcut to the Movies folder if you use video editing software like iMovie and Final Cut Pro. If you consider yourself to be a basic user, you probably don't access the Home folder on a regular basis. However, I am going to ask you to enable it for now because it ties in with something that we're going to cover later on. As you can see here, I am using iCloud Drive, which is the reason why iCloud Drive, along with my desktop and documents folders, are all grouped under iCloud. Just to clarify something real quick, if you do not see the desktop and documents folders grouped under iCloud, that would be an indication that you do not have iCloud Drive enabled. You will find this feature by going into System Preferences, then click on where it says Apple ID, then click on the Options button next to iCloud Drive and enable this feature. Under the category of Locations, I would recommend that you check the boxes next to External Discs and CDs, DVDs, and iOS devices. Now that we're all on the same page, I'd like to invite you to open a new Finder window and let's go to your home folder, which once again is the one with your name on it. If you happen to use any type of cloud storage, whether it's Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive, you'll probably find those folders inside the home folder. And if you don't already see those locations on your sidebar, you can manually drag and drop them there. If there are any items in the sidebar that you want to remove, please know all you need to do is secondary click on them and then select remove. As I mentioned earlier, I don't personally use the tags or recent files feature because I use a slightly different solution, which allows me to specify what types of files I'm trying to locate. This solution involves using a feature called a smart folder. Let's create a sample smart folder so that you can start to understand how they work and then just adapt the settings to make it suit your needs. Let's say instead of showing all recent files, let's just focus in on documents. To create a new smart folder, let's click into the file menu and select the fourth option down, which is new smart folder. From here, let's click the plus symbol at the top right. If I click into this first field, you'll probably see around six options in this list. But if you click into other, you'll start to get an idea of how many different attributes we can use to hunt down files. Now, I'm not gonna go through everything on this list because we'd be here all day, but I'll highlight a few different attributes that you might want to consider adding into the menu, including file size, date added, date last viewed, and date received. If you happen to be bilingual, I would recommend that you add language as an option in this list. So for example, if you wanted to see all recent documents, but only the ones in Spanish, you can do that. For now, I'm gonna keep this first field as kind, and I'm gonna change this next field to document. We're now gonna add a second rule so that it only focuses on recent documents, let's say in the last 30 days. So once again, I'll click the plus symbol, and here in the dropdown, I'll change it to date added, and type in the number 30. The final step is to click the save button here at the top right. By default, your Mac will try to save this folder in a folder that is actually tucked inside of the library folder called saved searches, but if you want, you can change that to a different location. The important part is to add the option where it saves the search into the sidebar. And when I click save, you can see it listed at the bottom. This is just one example of how you can use a smart folder to locate the files that you actually care about. If you have a clever use for this, be sure to let me know about it down below in the comment section. This last trick is gonna be especially helpful for those of you out there who have additional users on your computer. 
for example, a spouse or even your kids. Sometimes we all need to send files from one account to another account on the same computer. And the easiest way to do that is to utilize the shared folder. To find this location, press Command, Shift, and the letter C as in Charlie on your keyboard. Then double click on Macintosh HD, then double click on the Users folder, and finally drag and drop this shared folder into the sidebar. That way, in the future, if you ever have files that you need to move from one account to another, you can just drag and drop them into this location and any other users on that computer will be able to access those files. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If this video helped you, you can really help me out by simply hitting that thumbs up like button. Leave me a little well-constructed comment down below. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And now also my podcast. Thank you for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.